let's talk about Bigfoot. But you know what's fascinating? I mean, I've been interested in this, and just about everywhere there is a creature, whether it's a Yeti, a Yari, a Bigfoot, an abominable snowman. Everywhere there are stories. They all seem to describe much the same kind of creature. Very often there are two, one big black one and one smaller grayish one. The sounds that they're said to make are about the same. People have come up with information, not because they think you want to know, but just because they just happen to be talking about something. So there's clearly something, like whether it's a creature that's recently become extinct and needs a memory, and yet you find lots of indigenous people who come face to face with what they believe is a, is a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch. Can we talk about your years in wartime Britain? First of all, we were rationed, you know, we were, everything was part of the war effort. And we didn't take anything for granted. We, we had enough to eat and we had clothes to wear. And, you know, that's lacking in so many young people today. But also, I was around nine years old, something like that, a very impressionable age when the first pictures of the Holocaust were released, all these bodies, these skeletons, and it was a complete shock, and it really made a deep impression on me that we can be so evil to each other. Just remember, every single day that you live, you make an impact on the world around you, and if you would just spend a few minutes thinking about the consequences, of the choices you make each day, you probably find you are making small changes. They could lead to the bigger changes that as a society we must have. That's beautiful. Folks, Jane Goodall, 